we've been in the winter time, we've probably frozen to death before the Coast Guard got there. We had these rubber suits, uh, big enough you get in with your shoes on and your coat and everything, pull it up over your head and zip it up and run your float. And you're pretty well waterproof. They, they tested it in Chesapeake Bay, got up and swam around with this thing on. And after an hour or so, they got out and they would throw the wet around the collar, but that was the only problem. Uh, so it worked pretty good. Uh, later on, we uh, had missions uh, one day. It was real windy. And we uh, figured out they had a little town up here and the Coast Guard station over on the beach. If you get over to the town to fly over that Coast Guard station, we'd hit the buoy that was 25 miles offshore. And then we could go on a, a patrol mission. And uh, so we went up there with a strong crosswind. We were going sideways to get, get up to the buoy. We found the buoy and turned and aimed it down southwest parallel the coast and uh, I sat back and looked around and after about 30 minutes I looked back and that buoy was still right under us right here. <laughs> we flown an equal to 50 miles and hadn't gone anywhere. <laughs> we had at least 50 miles anyway. and uh, so we decided this wasn't the right day for this so we came back and tried it another time. <laughs> 